Good afternoon and welcome to Chatting Blues. It's Sunday the 16th of July and Blues have been linked with yet another central centre-half, uh, this time from Arsenal, who, um, funnily enough, uh, it looks like we've got links with, with with Arsenal. We did get Austin Trusty on loan this time last year. And uh, I'll, go, I'll go straight try into to the, to the actual tweet, which was tweeted last night by a, a a a journalist what concentrates mainly on tunisian and african players and uh if you see uh he goes on to say omar rekic that's who we're linked with omar rekic he's heading for a low move to birmingham city the different parties are working on an agreement regarding contract terms they have chosen Birmingham despite a strong interest from FC Seville. Now, looking at his stats, I've looked at a couple of videos of him and um, on, on on YouTube, and this is a guy what looks really comfortable on the ball, um, even though he, he's only played thirteen games in in the Championship for Wigan. So he was he was on loan. For, on loan from Arsenal to Wigan last season and um he played 13 times and what we'll do we'll have a we will have a look at some of his stats um one second right so so we'll have a look, look at some of his characteristics so he's a right footed center back and he's played We'll look where he's played and where he's playing positions. So we got an average of six point three eight, which isn't brilliant, but it's you know this was a team what got relegated last season. So he made a total of ten appearances, getting an average rating of six point three eight. And we'll look at the, uh, his strengths and weaknesses. So his strengths are passing. Now this is something which really we, we need because um, okay. Deion Sanderson's a lot, uh, a lot more comfortable on the ball and, and, and can play a pass uh, compared to say someone like Mark Roberts or Kevin Long, so that's um, really good. He, he's he's a style of play, so he likes to take a man on. He likes to dribble, um, likes to play short passes, doesn't dive into tackles, and commits fouls often. That's his style of play. His weaknesses is his discipline and his tackling. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll get into some more more stats regarding this. Um, one second, we'll go back to that one. We'll go back to that one, sorry, because there's, short, there's something I want to show you on, on air, actually. So these are the games he played for Wigan. So, so he got loaned to to Wigan in January of this year and played up until till May. And um, his second game of the season, his second appearance for Wigan, sorry, was on on the fourth of March, and uh, it was against Blues. So we'll have a look where where he featured and what and in what formation. So this was Wigan one, Birmingham one <clears throat> last season. And if you see, uh, so Wigan are in their orange, and here's uh, Omar Rekic, um playing on the left of a three, uh, getting a, a rating of six point three. So a right footed, a right footed player. What's playing on the left? Um, we'll have a look at some more as well so he played 58 minutes in that game and then three days later he played the whole game getting a yellow card away at west bromwich albion and we'll have a look see where he played in this so in this game he played in the middle of a three getting a 6.4 you know bear in mind that wigan got relegated um last season we'll have a Quick look at one more. So we've got a 7.16 here, and he played out 88 minutes, and it was Wigan nil, rather than nil. Have a quick look where he played there. So he seems to be playing in a three, and this this is why uh, John Eustace might want it, um, want him. 
and he's, he's pretty stunned out there. So it was a nil-nil game, and uh, he got a 7.2 rating there. So, you know, he's, he seems fairly comfortable in a three. He has, he has played in a four, you know, as, as a centre-back in the four as well. And what we'll do, we'll go on to um, a little bit deeper with... Um, so this is centre-backs in his position and uh, the percentile. This is uh, per game. Okay, and the things what kind of stand out straight away is his progressive carries. Now, I've on good good um, information. I've spoke to a, a few a few Arsenal fans who I know, and uh, if you look at his progressive carries there, so it's one point eight four per game. Now that doesn't sound a lot, but he's in the top ninety seven percent. He's in the green there. You know, he's one of the best at doing it, and. Uh, Progress, progressive carries. You basically, yeah, I'll read it just so, so you know. So progressive carries means carries that carries that move the ball forward the, towards the opponent's goal line at least ten yards from its furthest point in the last six passes, or any carry into the penalty area ex excludes carries which end in the defending fifty percent of the pitch. So basically, it's picking the ball up deep. He's, he's and and he's getting into a dangerous area, and um, that that is the kind of player um, I think Blues need. Whether it's this guy or or, or whether we're linked to someone else, we need someone who can pick up the ball a, a little bit like Deion Sanderson, who can pick up the ball and rather than just hoofing it, you know, panicking when an opposition player's pressing pressing him, um, you know, can be composed on the ball. Um, get round him and, and, and lay it off and, 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 and get up the field. And he's, he's progressive passes as well. He's really good. He's in the green there on 71%. Um, 3.4 4 per game. And uh, I'll read the progressive passes out. So a progressive passes, uh, completed passes that move the ball towards the opponent's goal line at least 10 yards from its furthest point. Um so yeah, and, and and also what something else what stands out is his aerial jaws one. So he's really good in the air, um, and that can it, it, if we were to play a four at the back, and and for instance we had Sanderson and Omar as as the central defenders, we've got two guys what are great in the air there, and also uh, this Omar Rekic, he seems really comfortable on the ball. <clears throat> so yeah, um, what what I'd like to do now is, is just really get your your points of view across and um, and and what you think of uh, of this guy. I know there's a, not a lot to go on. I've just pulled up a few stats there, but um, there was a there was an interview done by Alex Dickin of the Birmingham Evening Mail uh, with John Eustace while the while the that was over in Spain and um, what he went on to say is that he wants Blues to be have a lot more possession this season and uh, I think we was in the bottom five for possession last season on an average of around about 34% uh, it was very much like a counter-attacking team and um, so, so so John Eustace this season will be looking to be uh, you know getting players what can get the ball carry it rather than just hoofing it up the field um but no i just thought i'd come on and do a short video on this omar recce um hopefully we'll, we'll hear a bit more over the coming uh coming days it, it, it's looking like it's going to be a low move at the moment and um I'd also like to just ask um, if you can put in the comments wh where else do you think we, we, we need to strengthen? Um, you know, for me, we, we, we definitely need um, a striker. Um, I've already mentioned as well, we need someone to challenge Manny Longello at left back <coughs> or left wing back. But uh, yeah, like if you can, if you can like the video, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment, and uh, I all hope you have a great day and uh, keep right on.